All right, well, welcome everybody uh, to the second episode of the Totally Awesome 12 Days of Christmas. And today we're going to be talking about uh, a native U.S. species, the spotted turtle, Clemens cutata. And this species is native to like the eastern seaboard, pretty much. I say that because they're found in very southern Georgia, northern Florida, all the way along the eastern seaboard, pretty much. They don't go inland that much, only a couple hundred kilometers, except for around like... Uh, get to Pennsylvania, Virginia, a little north of that, they start to creep over and they get into Indiana and Michigan. So they do go far inland, but mostly they're restricted to kind of that coastal area. And they like to be in like marshes, kind of, uh, not marshes, but swamps, um, areas that are have a lot of vegetation in them, slow moving, kind of like the Amboinensis. Um, this species is also very common, fairly common in the pet trade. People really like them, they stay small, they're really pretty, you'll see it when we get to them. And that's typically why people like them. They're small and they're pretty and they're fairly hardy in captivity and people can breed them and they're also very common in like China, really high in demand in China and, and Hong Kong and even in Europe. So we're gonna, enough about talking about them. Let's go and, and see the animals we have and y'all can decide for yourself if you think they're a, a pretty turtle or not. All right, let's go on over. All right, once again, we're here in the turtle lab. That's where the little Ambonensis was from yesterday in that video. And here is our separate room for the spotted turtles. Now we keep these in a separate room for a couple of reasons, but the main reason is this is part of, these are on loan, these aren't our animals that we have that keep in the hole forever. They're on loan from what's called a SAFE, the SAFE program. And this is a program that was established to um, try to do some different experiments with ways to take animals that have been confiscated and get them back into the wild or, or, or get their genes, their genetic makeup back into the wild. Because you have a lot of animals in the U.S. and other countries, they're confiscated. But in the U.S. we have a lot of species that are collected illegally to um, fulfill the demand of the pet trade here in the U.S. and a lot of overseas in China. And when they get collected, a lot of times we don't know where they came from. So we don't want to put them back in the wild, not knowing where they came from, could introduce new diseases or um, genes that aren't adapted to certain areas. So the SAFE program is using spotted turtles as kind of their pilot programs, pilot species, to find ways to get these animals. If we can't put them back into the wild, at least figure out genetically where they came from. We can look at genetics of wild turtles and compare them to the genetics of these captive turtles that were confiscated and match them up. And even though these probably will never go back into the wild because they've been in captivity, we don't know if they've got any new diseases, we don't want to give them to the wild animals, we can pair them with other animals of similar genetics. When they have offspring, those offspring could go back to areas that are similar to their, the genetics of these captive ones. And these animals, even though they were confiscated, they could give genes back into the wild. It could still help um, wild populations that are declining. You see the ones we have here, we keep them in pairs or in trios, depending on the size and how well they get together. Most of these are pretty good about staying together. And you might be asking, well, why are people so interested in this species? Well, one, they're very attractive. That jet black carapace, yellow spots, and they're, they can even get orange or slightly red coloration on their chest and forelimbs. And so it's just in a very attractive turtle. And they don't get very big, all right? So they don't get a lot bigger than this. So they're a small species, fairly easy to take care of, and do very well in captivity. They're easy to feed, they readily take um, pellets, or like here we have these little blood worms that they'll munch on throughout the day. And so they can eat a lot of variety of foods and they'll take pellets. So they're very easy to take care of and they also breed readily in captivity as well. So that's why they're very popular. And they're very popular in other countries, especially China. Like I said, I spent a lot of time in China and they love these guys over there. And with COVID a lot, and the new wildlife laws in China, a lot of native species in China that used to be sold as pets for turtles, aren't being sold now, or there's a lot of confusion on do I need a permit, do I not need a permit, so the market for native turtles has really crashed, and now they really want turtles in America and other countries, especially America, box turtles, spotted turtles, wood turtles, 
Diamondback terrapins. All those species have gone up in price and gone up in demand this year. So unfortunately, they will continue to be illegally exported to, to China and Japan too, but China and Hong Kong are, are the big ones. But yeah, these are um, aquatic, highly aquatic. They like, similar to the Amboinensis, slower or non-moving waters, a lot of aquatic vegetation in it. And uh, you can find them on, in ditches if there's on the sides of roads and, and good habitat where there's a lot, where there's decent populations. You can find them in ditches that fill up with water. So they can be fairly common in their um, native ranges if those populations have not been collected out by um, poachers. Well, this is spotted turtles. Um, very cool turtle. I talked a little bit more about a little bit of ecology and more about that like, conservation and kind of the perils that they that they face. But all right, lovely fellas. I mean, it just looked beautiful. It looked like a starry sky. All right, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for episode three.